Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about the Leatherman Crunch. This is a unique multi-tool with a pair of locking pliers. It's a fairly older design and it's one of the last designs that's been made by Tim Leatherman. And it's a very popular design because it's very compact and portable and offers a good set of features. We'll get into some of the specs here with the weight at being 6.9 ounces. Closed length is about 4 inches or 10 centimeters. Open length is going to be about 5.4 inches or 13.7 centimeters. And the width is going to be 1.2 inches or 3.05 centimeters. The overall thickness is about 0.52 inches. The blade length on this particular multi-tool is going to be about 2.2 inches. Here we can see on the table the Leatherman Crunch and the included sheath that comes with it. The total weight is 7.9 ounces. And as we can see on my weight, it's about 6.9 ounces. So it's pretty accurate on the spec sheet. And the sheath fits pretty well around the tool. It's small and slim. Here we have a little bit closer look at the Leatherman Crunch here. And on the side here, we'll notice it has the ruler markings in inches and also in centimeters on this side and they're well read and well marked on the tool on the other side we do have the push spring release for the locking tool set on this side and a little hole which the plier heads go through and lock into place on the top here we can see the parts that come apart and on the bottom we have the screw that comes out and reveals a quarter inch hex driver here which works with the proprietary system of the Leatherman Crunch and also regular drivers too, bit drivers. So that is a nice feature that they included into it. It takes a little bit of time to unscrew this here to get access to it. So it is a little bit of a time investment but it's still got a nice added bonus of being a driver and a port for expansion. So that is the nice thing about the Leatherman Crunch one of the pros in my opinion. I decided to get this to go along with my Blood Lemon Surge as I wanted a pair of locking pliers. Now it's very short as you can see I have very small hands and this is kind of like smaller than my hand so it's a fairly fairly small type of multi-tool. It's about four inches here so it's got a nice a nice weight and size to it which makes it very convenient to carry. Now we open it up and we have this pair of pliers here which come out and it's spring loaded which is important for the retention on the locking plier head and what I like what they did with this is that they have a groove here on the top head unit and we can see the coarse teeth here and then a little bit more fine te finer teeth towards the tip we have horizontal and vertical too if you notice the details you can see it on the camera and this slot's really nice for holding down other items into the lock and pair of pliers to secure it and I think that's really good engineering and if we notice on in the center here let's put it together here in this little detent locks into place here on this side and we have our pliers locked in and it releases out with the spring so we have a pair of soft and hard wire cutters here and this is how we actuate the pair of pliers so say we're going to try to size something up we get it in the ballpark and we can kind of dial it in and then once we dial it in we clamp down and that spring should be enough pressure to keep it locked into place so it's held firmly so we can see it has the regular pair of pliers here and the somewhat you know nose type of tips area it's a little bit blunt but you get the idea it works fairly well for a locking pair of pliers here now to release it it's simply you push on the side here and it just comes undone which is fairly nice and easy to do with one hand operations now we do have the wire strip here with the little icon in this little notch here and it's got the cutters on the inside so we fold it down and you simply turn it and rotate and then pull and you would be able to strip your wire in that and it's supposed to be working pretty well for 14 gauge multi-stranded wire from what i've seen online so uh, take my words with a grain of salt on that i haven't tried it myself yet but it appears look, it look like it'll do that kind of gauge wire. Now on this side of the crunch, we do have the internal tool set. We have a very small file with cross hatching on one side and single hatching on the other and a third side here. And it's very short. We do have a lanyard ring here. And we also have a 
couple of slotted screwdrivers in here and a Phillips head screwdriver as well. The Phillips head is 3D, which is nice, unlike their 2D type of screwdrivers. However, it is a bit small, as you can see here, on the length, so that is a kind of a down bummer of it, but that is a limitation of this such small compact size. Here we have the smaller slotted screwdriver, and we also have a larger slotted screwdriver here. And finally, we have the sheet's foot serrated blade here. Now these tools all lock, and we'll do it with the blade here so you can see how it looks. Let's say we go ahead and close this down here without cutting myself, close down the pliers, lock into place, and we can also make that smaller. Now we have our sheep's foot blade accessible and you would push this to release it and fold it back in. So let's take it apart now. And we push that and unlock it and it comes back in. So fairly easy operations for the tool set in the Leatherman Crunch. Now what I like about it is the design of it. This is one of the last designs done by Tim Leatherman and I think it's very smart and ingenuic. So this piece here, the screw here, kind of determines how much opening locking space you can have and bring this out, opens it up and we can adjust it as much as we want. And I like the fact that this little detent in here, I guess you'd call it a detent or maybe in here actually, and these points clip into this part here to lock it into place. And it's very ingenious. And we can see how the pliers lock in and work. Now, sometimes it takes a little bit of a of time to get it locked in place, which is down to my own user error. But once you get used to it, it's a fairly smooth experience. And like I said, I did buy this to use alongside my other Leatherman type of pliers, particularly my Surge here. So I plan on using these in conjunction with each other. And I think it makes an excellent combo piece together for doing a lot of light duty stuff and potentially medium duty stuff. Again, I'm not a hardware kind of guy or a uh, fabricator or anything like that, so I don't have all that experience, but I'm looking to carry this mainly on work outings and volunteer work outings, so I figure this should be a nice belt carry these two items here, kind of like everything in one. Again, it saves a lot of time to be able to have it on you and reach for it right away. It may not be the proper tool for the right time and obviously use the right proper tools for the right job, but sometimes you don't have the how do you say it? I don't always carry a tool chest on me. So this is a convenient way of approaching a lot of things and it can and does work. So I do recommend carrying the right kind of tools. Now this is a lot smaller than your typical pair of vice grips or locking pliers. I have a pair of old craftsman ones that are about six, six and a half inches. They work very well in my other toolkit. This is a lot smaller. So it is a lot more convenient, but again, it's not, it will work very well. However, it is not a dedicated tool. It's a multi-tool. That being said, I think it's a fantastic multi-tool. It fits well with most other Leatherman or other type of plier-based tools in my toolkit, and I'm looking forward to using it and experimenting with it. And that's all I have to say for now about the Leatherman Crunch. Let me know what you guys think if you would go out and buy one. They're about $120 now on the main Leatherman website. They did get an increase about... $10 in the past year. So it, prices are going up, but they're available again, and they're not out of stock, which is important. And I think if you sign up for the first time, you might be able to get free shipping and some percentage off. I'm not sure exactly on that, but check it out and let me know if you would get one and why you would get one and what you would use it for. Thanks for watching and enjoy your day.